From the Pen2 animated charts, AI extend, multi-tracking editing, and more, Filmora 15 has a lot of surprises for you. I mean, a lot of surprises. Pen2 is likely one of the most requested feature that has made it in the final release. Well, when you go to the drawing tool option right here, you are going to see the Pen2 right on top. Just like Filmora fans were expecting, this feature is going to allow you to draw anything that you want from the preview screen, as you can see right here. Now, the right side of the preview screen tells you that you have drawn something that you can actually transform from the scale, the position, and the rotation. Now, back again on the preview screen, if you really want to readjust one of the nodes, just double select the thing and then here you can make some adjustments. But let's say you want to adjust a couple of nodes at the same time, just multi-select them and then just like this, you can adjust them all at once. Now, the most interesting feature right here. If you scroll down here on the right side again of your preview screen, if you are using this type of a interface, here there's a stroke feature that gives you effects presets. All right, just like you are seeing right here. You can change and choose the one that you want and then make some adjustments to suit your choice. Down here, there's a trim path which allows you to animate your drawing from starting frame to the end. And below, there is a path follow option that allows you to add something. It can be a vector, a transparent image, or just an element that you can either import from the timeline or from the computer straight. And whatever you have imported here is going to follow the path of your drawing according to the way you have decided to animate it. This is really cool. If you can take your time, you can create amazing motion graphics using this feature here. Now let's move on to the feature number two, the animated charts. Actually, this is a surprise, as I have said earlier. I mean, no one was expecting this kind of a feature, but hey, it's not bad, it's cool. Let me show you what it can do. So when you go to the effects tab right here, you can see the exclusive 15, where you can only find the effects that has been released together with Filmora 15. The very first thing you see is the animated charts, which after you have selected it, it pops up a new window, just like you can see right here, not trying to waste much of your time. But there are just few things you can do with this feature. Actually, if you create a content that is to do with data analytics, biographs, charts, and so forth, this is a game changer, or a lifesaver, should I say. All right, because it's just a bunch of presets in that category that you just have to change the values, and then boom, you have the actual thing. You can actually change the colors, customize them, the bars and everything right from this right side of the preview here and then make them the way you want all of these options that you're seeing right now. And then if you want to put on your own values, figures, flags, or whatever the information that you want on your data analytics or graphs or whatever that you're doing right there, you will have to go to this option right here, which is the data and then feed it with your own values. Once that is done, go to the Add to Timeline here, and then you're going to have it in your main timeline right here, as you can see, is just like a clip, which means you can actually transform it the way you want. Not a bad surprise is a good surprise, and I am happy with it. But hey, I think time is running out, and I know you are looking for something, something like the 3D camera feature. If you don't find the features that you were expecting to see right in this update of Filmora 15, make sure to comment down below, because Filmora will read those comments and then add those features in the earliest update of Filmora 15. The third feature right here is a multi-editing timeline. All right, so in simple terms, Filmora just made it easier for you to switch between multi-timelines. So just as usual, let's say you want to create another sequence or another editing timeline. While we are working on this project, just write, select any of the file in the timeline, and then use the usual option to create a command clip. All right, as you can see, it's going to be added right below the toolbar which makes it easy for you to switch from one timeline to another. But that's not all about this whole feature right here. When you go to this import option right here, which you can navigate the drop-down menu here, and then you will see this option, which is the sub-project. All right. So this really allows you to add or import another project that you've been working on. You can just use this option and import that particular project 
and work both projects simultaneously in this very same project. And of course, just as we have mentioned earlier, you will be switching from one to another seamlessly. Cap cut stumbles trying to race But Fillmore strides are full of grace With AI cutouts and keyframe finesse Cap cuts confusion feels like a mess Enhanced audio noise no more this is the AI Extend, which allows you to extend your video. If it's not long enough, according to your desired duration, right? You can just use it straight from the toolbar here and then extend the video that you want. Once you've done that, you can then add your prompt right there of what do you want to see in the extended part. And once you've done that, generate using the AI credits. And just like that, all this area here has been made or extended by artificial intelligence. And now the last and yet not the least feature we have right here is the source and timeline preview. So this simply means select on the source here. Whatever is selected in the media bin is going to be showing up or starting to preview. As you can see right here, and then you can just switch from timeline to source to see both worlds at the same time. If you remove the dockable panel of the previous screen right here, you are going to see both sides at the same time. To be honest, I can't say I am disappointed with this latest version, but I'm grateful. And I would like to say thank you so much for the hard work. I am looking forward to some of those features that we were expecting, you know, like 3D camera feature, better captions, templates than Cape Cut, more color grading tool, the keyframing panel, motion blur, and more plug-in support. We are still looking forward to see those features. And until I meet you guys in the very next episode, bye. Cap cut stumbles trying to race. But Fillmore strides are full of grace.